She's obviously, she's very determined, she's strong-willed, she has an independence, um, but I, I didn't want her to become a caricature. I, I, it was very important that she, we found her humanity and her vulnerability, and also that, that you, as the audience, would be with her, that she doesn't become objectified, uh, that she's, she's not glorified or um, on any sort of pedestal, that there was an immediacy to her and that you were engaged with, with her struggle. She's very grounded and she's, she has a confidence that is obviously very important to Star Wars as well, the sense of, um, the, sense of the force and the sense of goodness. And, and how do we find that in the costume? So we came up with a design with, um, with the shirt that was cut in a, in, a, in a Japanese style and then combining that with something more practical. What would she need, you know, if she's going on missions and she's, she's someone who is... Um, who is often in situations where she needs to protect herself physically. Often um, it's very important how you shoot an actor and the angles that you use and, and the way you present them. And um, it was always very much about, and I remember Gareth, with the handheld camera, you know, who's always it, wanting to be in in Jin's mind, in Jin's world, uh, and and reflecting that through the through the way it was shot. So on the first day, it was incredibly nerve wracking. We didn't have a lot of time to shoot. We had to shoot before the sun came up. So uh, Alan, Diego, and I were we had quite a small scene to start off with, you know, to break us in gently on the first day. But we ra must have run that scene about 30 times traveling from base to the set because we were so nervous. We, like, none of us wanted to mess up and forget our lines and, and, and wanted to, to make it as good as possible. So rather neurotically, we just kept running it on a loop over and over and over again as we're bouncing along in this Land Rover driving over Wadi Rum. That's when I think filmmaking is really special and acting is really special when you get moments of uh, where the actor loses self-consciousness and, and there's a little moment of surprise or uh, it's trying to find an authenticity and Gareth constantly was pushing for that and, and, and wanted to create something that was very immersive. We're in a time now where obviously virtual reality is 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 hugely important and is is potentially going to be the next form of film. And so there is an appetite in audiences for something that's very, very um, feels very real and feels like you're actually in it. And it feels like with Rogue One, the style that Gareth made it is that it's incredibly immersive. Forrest is he's a just such a tremendous actor and he's he brings such humanity to everything he does and it was it was very very special working with him I I really really enjoyed it I loved doing all the Jedi sequences when we were running around and and when it was um at K2 and Diego and I, it was always great fun. Uh, Alan would always be throwing in completely random lines that would always make us laugh. And then we'd have to try and be serious because we were running away from stormtroopers or something. We shared everything together. We, it's so nice to have someone to to partner with, to to go through it, and and we we both have similar approaches. We both like to be prepared and and then play around on the day and and have fun with it. And and it was it was it was great fun. He's he's very. I remember seeing him in E2 Mama Tambien, and I've been a big fan since then.
I think it's a great opportunity to explore different styles of Star Wars that we haven't seen before. And I think the audience are really ready for it. There's an appetite for a new adventure. And, and so we have been given such freedom to, to experiment and, and, and really play within the Star Wars universe.